this guy is the richest man in all of Malaysia. And he told me, he said that he was, it's a rags to riches story again. Ten years old, he came from Yemen, okay, on a boat, came to the shores of Malaysia. And the first thing he did is sold his shoes, didn't have shoes, and he went and he bought some rice. Then a little bit of training, a little bit of trading, and he made some money, yeah. And he went to his mom. At the end of the day, he went to his mom and he said, Mom, I made ten ringgit. You know, ten ringgit is like, it was like one and a half, one and a half pounds, right? And his mom said, give half of it in sadaqah. Okay, he said, I'll give half of it in sadaqah. So the, so the man said, listen, and this is a typical attitude that you're going to find the entrepreneurs having, yeah? Which is wrong, yeah? And you're going to get this out of your system. He said, mom, can I, can't I save the ten ringgit now and reinvest it? And I'll keep doing more and more and more. And so I'll have more money to give eventually, rather than me now give the five ringgit right now. He said, no, my son. She said, no, my son. He said, the reason why you made money is Allah gave you barakah. Yeah? Money is an opportunity from Allah. Making money is an opportunity from Allah. You make more money from opportunity than you make from your capital investment. You know, an entrepreneur, entrepreneur's skill is to make money from nothing. Correct? He looks at an opportunity, he sees money there. It's not because he has got capital that makes him money. No, it's because he's an opportunity. And that's the whole point. The whole point about entrepreneurship is to make money, right? Without your own money, yeah. yeah, using other people's money, right? And an opportunity. It's the opportunity from Allah that makes you money. Not the fact that, okay, I've got a million, that's reinvested and that makes two million. No, that's, that's an that's a easy way out. You want to be a true entrepreneur? You want to make money? You're going to make money from nothing. And so as a result, give it away. I'm not asking that you give tons and tons and tons. But I am asking, give 50% away, give 20% away. And I have met a group of people now whose growth strategy for their business is sadaqah. Their growth strategy. He said, my growth strategy is sadaqah. Unbelievable people. Unbelievable people. The amount of sadaqah they give. Yeah. And we have to revive this.